Oh, tell me where you heard this before. The Baltimore Ravens attempted to sign one of their potential franchise players, but they got denied. Uh, they could say that about Joe Flacco. They could say that about Lamar Jackson. And they can also say that about Justin Matavike. Before we get into this, though, team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications on. And also, please leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel so, 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 so much like y'all have been doing. So keep that up. We appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean. Let's keep growing. Let's keep moving. And let's just keep having fun with it. Now, uh, back to Justin Matabike, the Baltimore Ravens. And this I didn't know. I guess this was like top secret information because you know how the Baltimore Ravens do things. You know the Baltimore Ravens, for 99% of their dealings, they keep them under wraps. They keep them tight-lipped. They don't get out usually until way after the fact and this is coming out way after the fact because i sure didn't hear about this in the off season i don't know if any of y'all did but y'all probably did because y'all know i'm an nfl outsider no plug no sources no connects but a lot of y'all know a lot more than me but anyway let's read this uh this was from baltimore ravens.com it says from the adam Schefter podcast uh on a team filled with breakout 2023 seasons None may have put together a better one than defensive lineman Justin Matabike. After 12 games, Matabike has shattered career best with 10 sacks, 10 tackles for a loss, and 21 quarterback hits. And yes, we know Justin Matabike, we, we talk about it every week because he does something new every week. He keeps adding to that sack count every week, and he keeps adding to his bank account every week. Uh, the article continuing, it says, His breakout has also come in a contract year, which according to ESPN's Adam Schefter, the Ravens tried to avoid. Ooh, smart Ravens. You tried. You got denied, but hey, I respect the effort. It says, just matter BK time this perfectly, Schefter said. Baltimore put on a press to sign him this summer. He rolled the dice. He bet on himself like Joe Flacco once did with the Baltimore Ravens. And we're about to talk about Joe Flacco in a couple minutes. Um... And like Joe Flacco winning, Justin Matabike is in line to win. He's one of the elite young defenders in the game. And that's what Adam Schefter said. And again, we, we've been seeing it. We've been seeing it. I remember when Justin Matabike first came into the league and they were talking about, oh, yeah, Matabike, he be training with Aaron Donald and whatnot. We was like, oh, OK, well, that ain't a bad person to train with. And shout out to Aaron Donald, by the way. Hey, I, I want you to ball out today. Shout out to Flacco. But anyway, we'll talk about him in a couple of minutes. But Justin Matabike, he has earned himself big time money. And the question has come up a lot of times, like, what are the Baltimore Ravens going to do? Uh, especially with the big three, uh, with Patrick Queen, with Geno Stone, with Justin Matabike. Now, recently, over the past couple of weeks, Geno Stone has cooled off a bit because, you know, he was going crazy with the interceptions week after week after week after week after week. After week. Uh, but he, he's cooled down some. So we, I haven't heard much talk about Geno Stone recently from a lot of Ravens fans, but Patrick Queen and Justin Matabike, they have not cooled off. They have still continued to do their thing. And I'm not saying Geno Stone is playing bad at all, but we just so used, we got so used and so spoiled to him getting an interception week after week after week. So, hey, Geno, when, when Ravens come back next week, just get some more. No problem. But with Matabike specifically, um, he has just been not just playing better, but producing as well. And when you not only play better, but you produce too, when you walk up to your boss, they can't help but to give you more money or let you go to somebody who will. So we'll see what happens with Justin Matabike. Schefter also said uh, Matabike uh, played, uh, Matabike's play has Schefter clamoring for him to make the Pro Bowl and even enter the Defensive Player of the Year discussion. I believe he's on his way to the Pro Bowl this year, Schefter said. If he doesn't go to the Pro Bowl, it's a travesty. You could even make some conversation that he belongs in Defensive Player of the Year conversation, which I don't think he'll win when you got guys like Miles Garrett and TJ Watt dominating play. But that's how good Justin Matabike has been. He'll be a Pro Bowl player, I expect. Now, look, Adam Schefter, I agree with him that Justin Matabike should be and could be a Pro Bowler, but he ain't got time for the Pro Bowl this year. He, he will be busy taking care of another bowl this year. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. But anyway, with Justin Matabike, yeah, he, the bread is coming. He knows the bread is on his way, and he has executed this thing perfectly. Perfectly, because had he signed with the Baltimore Ravens this past offseason, oh, it still would have been for a lot of money. He still would have certainly got paid. And uh, this also answers another question that we, we've answered it before on here. Uh, but I know a lot of people felt like, oh, well, the Ravens signed Broderick Washington this offseason. Does that impact Justin Matabike? At all? No, it, it, it never did. It never did. And especially with Broderick Washington's contract, it wasn't no monumental, it wasn't no crazy contract, anything like that. It's extremely team friendly. Uh, Justin Matabike's contract. 
Joseph Vatapique's contract will be everything but team friendly. I mean, I'm sure if if the Baltimore if the Baltimore Ravens even get it done with him, because they got to get it done first. But if they do get it done with him, yeah, it's gonna take a boatload of money because he is somebody. He's a, a defensive lineman that has been closing, not only getting pressure on quarterback, but closing, finishing, producing. So, yeah, it'll be hard to structure that in a team-friendly kind of way. Um, but we're happy for Justin Matter PK because y'all know I always talk about on here, man, I, I love just people that I know, people that I don't know for the players and whatnot. I love seeing people get their bread. I love seeing people get their money, and Justin Matter PK is in line to do just that. Somebody who we mentioned before. Who did the same thing Who ended up betting on themselves And they won that bet Was Mr. Joe Flacco Quarterback Joe Flacco of the Baltimore Ravens He served as a quarterback from 2008 to 2018 uh, And then of course the Baltimore Ravens Traded him to the Denver Broncos For what I believe was a fourth round pick And then he went on to play for the Broncos The Eagles, the Jets uh, And I know I'm missing somebody And then he ended up on the Browns this year And that's been crazy to see Joe Flacco on the Cleveland Browns And now he is in line to start The game today against the Rams Go Rams Flacco, go, go do your thing But go Rams We want y'all to get the win And go Cardinals too But anyway, back to Joe Flacco um, he, Him starting for the Browns Is going to be something to see Because it's not just him starting in the AFC But him starting in the AFC North A team that he once dominated and the Browns are like, hey, if you can't beat him, join him. Well, in this case, have him join you. Uh, but another form of a Baltimore Raven and a former New York Jet <laughs> and a former Houston Texan has some interesting things to say about Joe Flacco. And that was none other than Ed Reed. Ed Reed said, it's not like he's going to the Steelers, man. Uh, and that's this came, the words came straight from Ed Reed. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> He told that to Ian Rappaport uh, And he said uh, He's somewhere that actually has a connection To Baltimore Because of course you know the Cleveland Browns They end up becoming the Baltimore Ravens Y'all know the whole story Anyway uh, he said but I'm all for it It might be a Cinderella thing It might be awesome if Joe can get them to the playoffs Yeah it would be cool for them But Look, I, I know somebody even commented in a video from yesterday. They were like, oh, man, Joe Flacco, he probably going to get the, the Browns to the playoffs, and they're going to end up playing the Ravens, and they're going to end up beating the Ravens. And I said, whoa, 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 hold up there, buddy. It'll be nice to see Joe Flacco have some success over there. It'll be nice to see him get the Browns to the playoffs. That's cool or whatever. But they ain't beating Ravens in the playoffs. No, uh-uh, not this year. Not this year. This is the year for the Baltimore Ravens. Everything. Has been lining up for the Baltimore Ravens this year And everything will continue lining up for the Baltimore Ravens this year We ain't playing man We ain't playing Yeah, We done had some play play games Especially in the, 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 the three losses And even in a lot of the wins too But the Ra this is the Ravens year Again, don't peak too early They sure haven't Especially what, what they score How much? 20 points against the Georgia team what the? Yeah, you definitely ain't peaking too early But anyway uh, a. Reed uh, is interested in what Joe Flacco does And he also said he's won a Super Bowl And not many quarterbacks can say they won a Super Bowl uh, Reed also said he played his behind off That's the team keep it clean version He played his behind off during those whole playoffs And yeah, A. Reed got to see that up close and personal Because he was a part of those teams So we'll see how Flacco does today And we'll see how the, the, the Rams do Hopefully, hey, go Rams um, and also watch out for the Cardinals and the Steelers If Cardinals can pull the upset in that Steelers game That would be great Hope that Hollywood goes all the way off and more